Yo, what's up YouTube? This is Brian from Team Boardwipe. Coming from another regional this weekend. I got 6th place at the uh, Rosemont, Illinois Regional. Uh, Chicago area. I was playing Spirals. And I didn't think I was going to top this one. I lost round 1 to Invoked Hand Traps. And then I won the next 7. Uh, ABC and Paleo were my round 2 and 3 opponents. And then I played 5 Spiral Mirror matches and I won them all. Uh, it was it was a long day. Uh, it was very, very stressful. But we made it. I don't think my deck was very good. Uh, I got lucky. I think my bricks uh, were against not spiral decks. Like I didn't draw a bad hand uh, when it mattered against spirals, which was really nice. Uh, and there were a couple moments where the game could have gone either way. And my opponent missed a blind super agent, and I hit a blind super agent, and that kind of swung the tempo and put things in my favor. So, uh, a little bit of luck and a little bit of misplaying from my opponents helped me get uh, another top eight. So instead of like spending this entire video doing an in-depth analysis of my build, because it's essentially irrelevant due to the ban list that's coming out. Uh, I'm going to go through my build quickly and then talk about some other cards to replace certain spiral cards that either got hit or the machine dupes that are dead because of the hits to quick fix and drone. Uh, there are a lot of people who still think spirals are going to be among the best deck, if not the best deck. I don't know if I agree with them, but it won't hurt to kind of talk about other choices and hopefully get some input from you guys in the comments about... Uh, whether or not you think spirals are still going to be good, if you have plans already of what cards you're going to play, because even though the list takes effect November 6th, uh, Jim's decided that at the ARG we're going to play the new list this weekend. So uh, Team Boardwipe's got a couple players going, and we've got to prepare our new decks for an ARG this weekend. So any thoughts you guys have will help, I'm sure. And I'll just go right into my card choices for the weekend. Oh, what a nice mat. Oh, I'm a big fan. I'm so glad I got it. Alright, for the Spiral Monsters, three Super Agent, three Quick Fix, three Drone, one Sleeper, one Master Plan, one Last Resort, all Pretty, pretty, pretty standard. Uh, uh, hand traps I was a little excessive on. Uh, three ash. Uh, standard. I mained two ogre and one maxi along with three drolls and then uh, mained three gamma with one driver. So it's 12 hand traps and a dead card if you draw it without... Uh, gamma. Although I did have somebody normal summon it and attack for game against me once. That sucked. That was terrible. Uh, but, uh, yeah, hand traps were excessive. Uh, thankfully, I only bricked with them against non-spiral decks. Um, so this, e this weekend could have gone a lot worse than it did. Uh, I'm not sure if this is correct by any means, but it worked against the spiral players that I played. It was It was good. Uh, three Spiral Resort, three Terraforming, obviously I didn't play Set Rotation, uh, but that might change if I continue to play Spirals under the new list. And then uh, three Machine Dupe, two Big Red, one One for One, and then one Double Summon. Uh, so Double Summon is a card that also might go up with uh, in count, um, two or three of them uh, with the new list. And then one Utility Wire and then one Mission Rescue. Um, most of it's just kind of standard. I didn't play Foolish Burial uh, because I wanted to play 40 cards and I didn't really know what to take out. And I decided to try the Gammas and Drivers so had to take out 4 cards. And uh, Foolish Burial, Soul Charge, uh, Reinforcement of the Army, and Upstart Goblin were the 4 cards I took out. Uh, for the extra deck, we have 1 Omega. Probably could have got away with playing 2. Uh, I could have made two in one circumstance, but, uh, I ended up not needing to anyway. Um, it was fine. Uh, three double helix, 
the third one actually came up once or twice. Uh, a lot of people are playing two. I know the Con bro the Con brothers that got first and second at Dallas played three. Um, I think three is right. I don't think there's anything you need more in your extra deck than the third double helix. Uh, maybe I'm wrong, but I don't think I am. I think this is good. That might change when Link Karibo comes out, but we'll see. Uh, two Firewall, one Bora Load, one Ngirsu, one Gaia Saber, one Decode Talker, uh, one Proxy Dragon, one Ib. That's the rest of the Link monsters. Uh, I never made Double Firewall. Um... And with the new hits, you probably don't need two, actually. You probably can't even combo with two on your first turn, since Quick Fix is at one. Like, there's probably not plays that even get you to two Firewall that are good, that are good. So, um, the second one is probably going to come out, uh, honestly. Then one Princess Sprite, one Dullahan, and then I played a Baguska. I never made it. I don't think you need it, but I played it. Here it is. Um, Princess Sprite and Dullahan, I think, are the two best rank ones to play. Um, I didn't play DD Crow, so I didn't play uh, Liralesque. But Dullahan, it actually comes up a lot uh, because it's something that targets that can bait a decode talker. There were three separate instances uh, within the five mirror matches that I played that my opponents were um, doing a combo and they either didn't draw um, the nuts combo or I had a hand trap to stop a combo so their ending field was a decode talker with a sleeper. And like if you bait the sleeper, which is pretty easy to do with six cards in a spiral deck, um, or five even if you use the hand trap, like whatever, uh, making a dollar hand to target the decode talker forces them either to negate it by tributing the sleeper um, or which gets rid of the problem because then last resort targeting the sleeper isn't an issue either uh, or it just lets you attack over the decode talker um, or um, another way to bait decode talker is super agent uh, the field spell um, so super agent to the field spell plus this like means decode talker is just a non-issue uh, and like this came up a lot um, so I'm really glad I played it and if I continue to play spirals I'm definitely going to keep it even though it's hard to make rank ones as often without three quick fix and three drone it'll probably still come up um, and you, like it might be relevant um, first turn combos maybe not so much uh, you're probably always going to go into princess sprite if anything but um, going second, I think Dullahan is a card that you really, really need. And it came up a lot for me. Um, and I definitely don't know if I could have won uh, as many of those mirror matches as I did without Dullahan. Uh, side deck. We'll get these out of here. Uh, two cherries. One Raigeki, one Dark Hole. Three evenly matched. Three D barrier. And then the artifacts. Uh, so three Sanctum, one Scythe, one Lancia. Um, one, two matches because of these. I milled a Sanctum off of Princess Sprite, which was pretty great. And then I just won. Uh, that was game three of a mirror match. Uh, and then I hard drew Lancia once. And then I stacked an evenly match at the top of his deck. Uh, and he evenly matched me and I Lancia and then he skipped. So um, after that, his hand just couldn't break my board. Uh, so, yeah, these five are really good. Um, might even side them for, uh, other decks, even if I don't play Spiral. Like, it's just, Scythe is a good card. Evenly Matched is a card that Pendulum loses hard to, so Lancia is going to be good if you're playing Pendulums. Uh, keep that in mind. Uh, d bears I never used, um, because I never went first, uh, when it mattered, like... I didn't go to game three against ABC, so I won game one, I'm he started game two, and then I won. Uh, same with Paleo, and you don't think I'd play this against Paleo anyway. Um, I don't know, it's good, but I don't know if, there might be better cards, I just didn't play them this weekend. Um, evenly matched, everybody just thinks it's, there's a lot, uh, there are a lot of different thoughts about it. Some people think it's good, some people think it's bad, some people think it's average, I don't know. 
that's always good when I use it. Like, <laughs> I mean, you clear their entire board except for one card. So if it's a spiral board and it's a sleeper, they have a sleeper. And when they use its effect, they don't get a super agent. Um, they just lose their board. Um, and if it's not a spiral deck and you're evenly matched, you win. Uh, so I, it's, a, it's a good card, in my opinion. Uh, two board wipes. I didn't use them at all. Uh, some people like to side them in going second against Spiral. Um, I like three evenly matched and two cherries. Uh, so I didn't use the board wipes this weekend. Um, oops. And then two cherries because I didn't want to play three and I didn't want to play one. Um, I liked the, um, the uh, Khan Brothers reasoning why they only played one for the YCS. Uh, because you don't want to draw two. It's kind of bricky. Um, so that's why I didn't play three, because they're right. But I wanted to see it more than just, oh, it's a one-up, so if I draw it, great. Like, going second, I think it's, like, really good to cherries their helix. I did that in the last round in the mirror match going second, and I would have lost the game otherwise, because going first... He had more advantage than me, but then he couldn't make double helix, so I just won. Um, yeah, so that was my build. That's what got me sixth place uh, at Chicago in this really wonderful mat. Um, but now we have a new format. So we're going to talk about some cards and some changes you can make to try and keep spirals in the meta. Who knows if it will work. Um, first one is double summon. Um, if you weren't playing this card before, you're definitely playing it now. Um, and probably at at least two. I don't know if three is right. Drawing double of it kind of sucks. Um, drawing triple of it, triple sucks. But, um, you definitely probably need to play this card at two. If you're going to try spirals in the new format. Um, I only have one, so that's why I can't bring out a second one and show you my two. But, um... Yeah, so um, I guess I should start. The cards you need to replace three machine dupes and then two quick fixes and two drones. Those are the cards that we need to replace. So adding at least one double summon. That takes care of one. Um, other cards, uh, Super Agent, I think, is going to become much more important. Like, it's already an important part of the deck, but now even more so. So. If you weren't playing Rota before, which I didn't this weekend, you're definitely going to want to play it. So, there's another one. Um, you can consider... Um, I think Foolish Burial needs to come in. I don't know that Soul Charge is a necessity. Like, without um, the extra Quick Fixes and Drones, Soul Charge may be a necessity... Uh, but there were a lot of players uh, at the YCS who topped during their deck profiles said, I don't like Soul Charge, I wish I didn't play it. And that's why I didn't play it this weekend, because they all said it was subpar for them. Uh, so I took it out. We might need to put it back in with this new list. Um, so Foolish Burial, Soul Charge, there's two more. So now we got three cards to work with. Uh, and there are a lot of options. So you can play... Set Rotation without Ravine and Destrudo. Um, if you play Oracle. Uh, let's say this is Oracle. It's not. It's an upstart. But um, upstart's always an option. We don't need to discuss the viability of playing upstart in a 40-card deck. So Oracle, because I don't want to dig mine out of my deck boxes. Um, you can play Set Rotation without these two if you play Oracle. Um, and then that's two more cards. Um, but I think a really good option is playing now Distrudo and Ravine. Um, that puts you at 41 cards, which is fine. There might be something else you can cut. Um, I don't know. Uh, in the main deck, maybe a hand trap or something. Like Playing as many hand traps as it is probably not correct. But... Um, for the purposes of the list, um, these are the seven we need to take out. So if we take out the three machine dupes, 
And let's say we do add all four cards. Set Rotation, Ravine, Destrudo, Oracle. Um, set Rotation is the one of that kind of protects you against evenly matched if you draw it and use it correctly. Um, and it can lock your opponent out of field spells, which may or may not be good in the new format depending on how many decks without field spells are running around. So like against Draco, it's good. Invoked, it's okay. Like They don't need Meltdown to go off, but... If all they have is terraforming and meltdown to get to Alistair in their hand, then it's pretty good. Uh, mirror match going first, it's pretty good if you can lock them out. But uh, against Pendulum, which people are saying is going to be uh, a strong contender again, it's really just not great. They don't need a field spell, so they don't care that you lock them out. And that kind of has a negative, too, because if you... Uh, set rotation, and then they pop your field spell. They're just gonna keep theirs, so you're gonna have you have to get rid of it uh, if they let you uh, with a super agent. So you can that can kind of backfire against pendulum if you keep set rotation. Uh, but Destrudo is probably going to be played in more spiral builds, maybe um, just because you need more cards and you need more plays. Um, you need more ways to get quick fix into the graveyard. Uh, to abuse its effects. So, like, quick fix, search Big Red, Destrudo, send it to the graveyard to make Ancient Fairy or whatever, and then you Big Red the quick fix back, um, double summon, drone, you can uh, go into a Helix, and you've drone so you know what their card is. Um, you can do a... Uh, I suppose you'd have to get rid of the Ancient Fairy Dragon first if you Destrudo. Um... But, I mean, there are, there are probably combos in which Destrudo makes one quick fix better. So, probably going to be seeing those four cards. That's an Oracle. Uh, in more Spiral builds. Which means your extra deck is probably going to be minus a Baguska. Because I don't think it's great. Um, oh, there's a new card coming out. Trigate Wizard. And I, is, I think that's the one that replaces this. Um, maybe it's not, but this is bad. So, there's one coming out soon that replaces this. I think that's Trigate Wizard. Uh, probably don't need Double Firewall. Uh, and you probably don't need double Triple Helix anymore. Uh, because I think it's gonna come up less. Uh, with four less Spiral Monsters in your deck. Plus, minus three Machine Dupes. So, that gives you room for Ancient Fairy Dragon Black Rose. Which is gonna be really important. Um... And anything else you want to try and fit in. Um, so maybe keep the third double helix, because you got the three extras. So Ancient Fairy, Black Rose, Trigate. And then the rest of the extra deck, which is pretty good. Um, so yeah, that's my take on the new Spiral deck. We'll see what happens with the format. Uh, I'm going to come back up here. I'm going to come back around. My cameraman is gone, so here I am. A uh, couple shout-outs, Team Board White, for uh, telling me when I'm playing stupid cards and helping me create decks before events. Ben Dieter does the same thing in Des Moines, good player. Uh, and, of course, my biggest fan, who is always rooting for me, her name is Izzy. She's the cutest cat in the world. She loves me very much. And, yeah, that's all.